you all remember this guy, Craig Cobb. He's a 62-year-old uh, white man. Not just a white man. <laughs> He's a white supremacist man. And <laughs> he, um, he is behind this initiative, apparently, in North Dakota to turn a town into a white enclave. It's unclear whether or not he's been successful. Apparently, there are some um, non-whites living in the town. So, I guess he was on. Uh, he was in Britain. I guess it's a British show, and he was invited on the Trisha Goddard show. Um, I guess because you know one of the things that goes hand in hand with being a white supremacist is that you got to go on all those sort of uh, you know those low low end uh, even maybe high end uh, shows where they do all those like crazy Jerry Springer tactics and on this one they took a dna sample of his to uh determine what his racial makeup was uh trisha garded is um a black woman and i guess there was another black woman on the panel and you will hear them respond uh, and a, a Craig Cobb respond in this clip as to um, what the results were. So Craig Cobb. Craig Paul Cobb has undergone DNA testing to determine genetic ancestry. 86% European. And... Uh, <laughs> Fourteen percent sub-Saharan African. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on. Just wait a minute. So. This is called statistical noise. Sweetheart, you have a little black in you. Yeah. Listen, I'll tell you this: oil and water don't mix. So, hey, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> there is no word now as to whether or not he will be disallowed in his own white supremacist <laughs> town. Uh, but uh, I guess we're going to have to see if the rest of the white supremacists there uh, pass an ordinance. I mean, you I'm really don't let that guy in. in there? I'm grandfathered in. <laughs> yeah. Girl, it sounds like he's more likely grandfathered out. <laughs> Or maybe great-grandfathered out. Great-great-great-grandfathered out. <laughs> <laughs>